What just happened? Huh? Uh, what are you talking about, Hugo? You... Are you seriously expecting... Ogress... To... Just give up his power in hopes for a family? I don't know. It's... His choice. Why are you saying like that? Because I'm giving him a choice. He can be a part of my family if he wants, or continue being ogress. What if I still want my power? Hmm. Now that is an interesting possibility. You would try to kill me. No. But I would prefer you being less scary. Exploring. Well, my kids, though, yes, they are powerful. They're still kids. And if they see that their big brother is... I mean, yeah, I can shapeshift and whatnot, but still, you know. You really... But what happened to the Dofus? <sighs> Well, we have the king of the Iliotropes here. His brother, Amai, in which he still has the Dofus, thanks to my intervention. Uh, why are you looking at me? Hugo, you were going to fight him and take those things by force. But you, yeah. I know how much you care about Dali. I know how... Reckless you can get when people you care about are, you know, in danger. Uh, <coughs> yeah, don't deny it. So, at the end of the day, why not? So, you're offering me... A chance of a restart, you could say. And you, you're really okay with that. After all the trouble I caused. Well, to be completely honest, it wasn't completely your fault, now was it? Um. Exactly. Though, yes, you made some questionable, questionable decisions in your life. You can't be 
Kale completely accountable for it, because under the circumstances, you have right to be as angry as you are, as though <sighs> can't wait a little overboard, don't you think, kid? <coughs> what? Y you just... <laughs> did you just call me kid? Yes, I did. Is it good floating up and patting Ogres on his head? Uh, what? Is there something wrong? I, 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 uh, I it's, I... <sighs> Have you never been patting on the head before? I, I'm not used to this. Showing of affection and it not having a downside towards it, the end of it. So you just. I don't want to fight you to kill you. If anything, you'll be a great sparring partner. Either for me, if you decide to stay like this, or for your new brothers and sisters. <sighs> so, which would you like to be? Uh, uh, I... Okay. What? I'll... Uh, give you the dofus. Really? Yeah. <sighs> okay, so how are we gonna do that? Uh, well, I, yeah, there is one thing we can do to retrieve them. Are you talking about defecating? No, 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 that's... No one needs to see that. But let's just say if I ate something that didn't agree with me and it comes out the attic instead of the basement. Oh. Yeah. But wait, you've... You've devoured a lot of things. What's to keep all that down? The dofus were one of the last things I ate, so they probably be first to uh, make a comeback. All right. What food don't you like? Well. I never had a tri-bread before. Excuse me? <laughs> Are you telling me? You want to try eating me? Um... <sighs> Damn. Fuck no, fuck it, whatever, whatever. I guess there's a time and place for everything. More new experiences all the time. Just getting eaten was something I never thought I would ever have on a bucket list, let alone complete. Okay. So how you wanna, as Ogres pretty much, wolves down Izuku. Personal and you go are shocked. They're pretty much like, did that really just happen? Even Percy's like, I wonder what tribe it tastes like. Yo and Ogres both looking like, man, that's kind of sus. That is, a, is when Izuku does end up flying right back out, holding all six of the dofus, in which Ogres shrinks down. 
to his previous form. Shocked at his new, or well, I guess, throwback appearance. So, now what? Uh, well, King Yugo, what do you think we should do with these dofus? Uh, I think you should eat, should uh, keep them. What? You know, rich is like, wait, what are you talking about? What do you mean, keep them? Well, let's say you might need them. Are you suggesting that just in case one of us eats them ourselves? Um, please tell me that's not what you're saying. Well, I know one something we can do. Uh, wait, bird brain. Oh, Master Izuku, that just wounds my heart. As Ogres does cower behind Izuku, he's like, oh, what's wrong? He's like, father. Uh, yeah, son? No, not you. Creator. Father. What? Bird brain, was he talking about? <laughs> you see, I can explain. Brief explanation later. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to accidentally create old Chris. I'm the one who abandoned him. I'm, I'm partially a fall for him becoming the way he is. Threat to the world of 12 and whatever. Izuku punches him. Multiple times. This he looks like at the end of every villain fight besides Dio. Who's ever fought against Jotaro and was lucky enough to survive. So yes. You can imagine. And we're shot at Izuku's brutality. Ogris is wondering Why did you do that? Because He's your father. He shouldn't treat you with such ire for no reason. In my defense, <clears throat> there's no excuse for my actions. You're damn right. Now, oh, we go home. Percy. Percy! Ugh, personal, Dally, whatever you want to be called. Uh, but, but why'd you call me Percy? Yeah. It seems very fitting. Oh, yeah, one more thing. You being a god, no, does not excuse you for doing something as stupid as you did either. Huh? You seem to pretty much. Giving Dally a one hell of a no on his head. And you go. I've long since forgiven Am I for what he did to me. But there's still one person who hasn't truly forgiven him. Who? Himself. Uh, wait, what? Wait, 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 what, what are you talking about? Think of it like this. <sighs> yes, you, someone may have done some horrible things to a lot of people. And yes, those people may have forgiven them, but will never forget, believe me. There's a lot of that in existence. But still, they continue to try to make things right or fix what they screwed up make up for their mistake 
they're the only ones who haven't forgiven what they've done. So, in reality, the ones who they're truly mad at or blame is themselves. Why don't you just tell you I'm mad that you forgave him, forgive him? Because that would probably hurt him more. I need him to snap back at me. Say that, yes, he did what he did because he thought it was the right choice at the time. Yes, he knows what he does is wrong, did is wrong but still, he, he has no excuse for what he did. So, if anything, moving on is one of the best things he could do for himself. Huh. The fact that he was actually listening to this... Mm, what, what was her name? Bird Brain. Echo. That's the girl's name. Echo. Yeah, he may actually truly believe in what she's saying to an extent. Hmm. But still, it seems rather suspicious. You think he's gonna make a dumb decision again? Oh, without a doubt. Hell, you seen what he's done? Try to go home and see everyone. How that turned out. Right. Now, am I? Isn't a bad guy. He's just too trusting. He wants to do the right thing. He wants to do what he sees is right, despite. That being very, very problematic to us. Huh. So, like you said, you already forgave him for what he did. Oh, yeah. Seriously. <sighs> he just needs to forgive himself. Hmm. Okay. Why don't I just tell him, nope, 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 nope. You can't tell him that I forgave him. If anything, I should tell him after he's finally forgiven himself. What? Yeah. What sense does that make? You may not understand my methods, you go, but they work. Do they? Yeah. <sighs> okay, whatever. That's just... Hmm. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, can we go now? <sighs> yeah, yeah, we might as well. There ain't that much to really do here, so. I mean, my son is pretty much all hunky dory. And his father is, has uh, been very courteous to keep his mouth shut. Hmm. Yes. Very good. So, yes, let's. Give everyone the good news. Ogre should been start. I have a new son. And. Yeah, we have some more dofus to protect. It's actually quite interesting. What do you mean? When you think about it, me, you, and Anamai. Though others may acquire these dofus. We're the only ones that can actually utilize their power. Well, besides possibly the gods and which ogress or, you know. Huh. Uh, actually, wow. That's, that's right. Yeah. Crazy, isn't it? Wait. No, 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 no. What? <sighs> imagine. I mean, really imagine. 
you do they did all this to uh, gather the dofus in which yeah the guys we take them from aren't dragons or either trope so we can't really use them yeah actually yeah that makes sense so they would need a dragon or an earlier trope to actually utilize these dofus y yeah oh no now you're catching on so you're saying that they in Adamai yeah so she's trying to, yep. Wait, that means, what? If you didn't stop me, me or am I, we, I could have. If one for your, you being the, so this is a reason, a voice of reason, whatever they call it nowadays. Chances are, I would have thought, am I, taking the dofus he had. And correct, you would have ensured that he would join Echo and whoever the hell else she has on her, her side. Hell, that that's just assuming. What? That's assuming, I mean it's really assuming that she's even the boss. So you're saying there could be someone else at play here? Yeah. No doubt in my mind. Chances are there could be someone else, you know, pulling the strings, you could say. I never thought of that. Yeah, I just now thought of that. So you can only imagine. We might need to check up on Adamai, don't you think? You think it's really going to be that uh, important? No doubt in thine mind. In which, yes, you can imagine. Time passed. They have talked to Adam. I am has finally given Izuku an earful about what he thinks about how he's been treated ever since. In which, yeah, everyone already knew that Izuku forgave him, though I didn't know was Adam I at that point. So, yeah. And one starts applauding and clapping for Adam I. It's about damn time you finally gave yourself. In which, yeah, you can imagine. Everything's all hunky dory for now. The only thing is, with Adam I. You know, being this angry, this, you know, irrational in his mindscape. Yeah, he doesn't find search for or even run, really run into Echo. She does give him the speech whenever she does come across him. You know, there's a yada yada, you can join us or whatever. We can always use a dragon like you. But by this time, Mizuku is already given the hypothesis. Especially when it comes to the Dofus. So, yeah, no. <laughs> Though a tempting offer it is, this is an offer that Anami is not biting. So, yay, yay, thank goodness. Wonderful wonders. Oh, thank God. <laughs> So yes, Adam I still say he's on the side of good. Well, yeah. You know what I mean. As time does pass, Isuku does have to still introduce 
his new uh, son. He did, so... You just imagine that Cleom's pretty much like... Okay. You came back home safe. Uninjured. You didn't get no more powers, did you? No. At least, not, not, not really, no. Good. But there's still the fact that you bring... Not only six powerful objects, Gandolfus. Yeah. You also bring. Yeah. I also brought Ogress. Yeah. Yeah, you did. You really did. I... So what? He's depowered, I guess? Yes and no. Explain. I mean, yes, he's weakened due to losing the power to six dofus, but... He's still Ogress. He's just not as powerful as he was. He's still strong, fast, stamina is still great. Makes him with the fact that he's, his stomach is still its own pocket dimension. What? What? <sighs> yeah. Please. I, I'm, I am begging you. No, no, no more surprises. Please? Well, it's the fact that he's... I adopted him. Uh, what's, what's going on to our kids? Growing up with someone like... Hey, Ogres is not a bad kid. He's not a kid! He's older than us! He's older than... Definitely older than you! He's older than the whole damn kingdom! to control primordial dragons, didn't he? Yeah. <sighs> I just... <sighs> I need to lie down a little bit. Can, can I please do that? Will you get me that kindness? Yeah. <sighs> okay. <sighs> All right. Okay. Okay, so. Can you at least train your kids to, you know, what, in case Ogress, oh, don't worry, he's not gonna go on a rampage, excuse me, hmm? oh, hey, Anger Gar, uh, did I just hear you correctly, what did I say about eavesdropping? Trust me, I did not want to hear you and your wife taking a, you know, at least renewing your passion night of conception. I could have got my whole life not hearing you say that. Oh, don't get me wrong. You, I mean, you still. I mean, you have every right to. You know. Please stop. What? Just tell me what. What are you, what are you talking about now? Like, oh yes. <clears throat> oh, Christ. Yeah. What about him? You adopted 
Ogrest. Yes. The devourer of Dovus. This the defeater of gods. Yeah, what's the big deal? <laughs> what? What's wrong? Does he not understand the gravity of his actions? No, I, I, I sincerely don't think he has at all. It's just. <sighs> Hey, guys, cool it. Don't... <laughs> no need to fret over something so tiny. <laughs> tiny! Oh, that's, that's funny. And not only do you have the, you know, ogrest here. <laughs> Mind you, you have the dovus he devoured. Correct. And you see no problem with having these two entities together. I mean, they're his. No! He found captured! He just... You just... Oh God! Oh my Lord! Oh, someone help me! Oh please! This is wrong! This is so, so very wrong! You really don't understand the gravity of your actions at all! Why is this that people with such power? You'd be so stupid. Uh, stu stupid? Yes! Yes! You, you are very really stupid. Look, like it or not, he is my son. Now. I understand that. Oh, believe me, I understand that. But you have to remember. You are not the only one affected by this, by your actions. Huh. I guess you do have a bit of a point. Hmm. You guess? <sighs> you know what? J just, just destroy me. What? Yeah, please. Please just destroy me. Uh, what? Why, why would you? Because that would... Death would be much more safe. Listen, Angry Art, there's nothing to worry about, Dad. Hmm? Uh, what is it? Kakashi. Um, who's this? Yeah, he looks weird. Rumi. What? Just look at his ears! Be nice. Uh, wait. Where's Hanzo? Uh, I think he just went out flying. And what about Hinata? Well... Well what? She's... Training. Oh, that's good. Wait, what kind of training? Um, don't 
Don't lie to me. I... You know what's going to happen if you lie to me. And I find out. If you find out. Which one you said that? Kakashi. <coughs> Snitch. Hell, <laughs> you get hurt than me. Smart instincts, boy. So what kind of training is she doing? Hunting? Oh. Oh. Is that all? You're, wait. Oh, you're not mad? Oh, what? Why would I be mad? Why, when my daughter is hunting some of the most ferocious beasts that I... Oh. <sighs> you know what? It's not worth it. No, no, not at all. Just to get, just to punish you, Wait. Hey, Ogress. Yeah? Come here, son. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, Dad. What are you talking about? What? This is our... Have you cheated on... I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. This is Ogress. No, it's not. What, what are you talking about? What do you mean it's not? I mean, yeah, uh, I, I mean, I get it, he's an ogre, but he's so, so tiny. Oh, always was this huge, lumbering, psychotic, emotional crybaby who, seeing Ogres cry, Izuku is fuming mad. <laughs> like, Rumi, please stop talking and leave your new brother alone. Or else, Hinata is not the only one who's going to get punished. Okay. Uh, um, so, uh, yeah, she went, Hinata went hunting and. Me, Kakashi, and we're going flying with Hanzo. Bye! <sighs> no, don't worry about it, Ogress. I understand. Wait, why are you still crying? Sorry. You called me son. Uh. Wait, that's why you're crying? Yes. I thought your, your new sister hurt your feelings. I mean, she was telling the truth. Yeah, kind of stung, but you calling me son just warms my heart. Oh, that's just adorable. <sighs> you know what? Yeah, I definitely made up my mind. If I ever find a way home, I'm taking all of you with me. What? Wait, what do you mean by home? Isn't this home? I'm confused. <sighs> mm, good point. I might as well shed that, some light onto that situation. Okay, <clears throat> here it goes. I'm not from this world. I'm from a different world where... Most of the population have these things called quirks, these powers, which is branch out to generation, gets stronger, gets more evolved in this sense. Izuku pretty much given the whole explanation to one for all and everything. In which, yeah, he does let it be known that each of his kids has a either has Inko 
or Hazashi's quirk, or a combination, or maybe evolved form of these quirks. Like with Kakashi, yeah, his uh, quirk technically allows him to make a draw things to other things, not just himself. Apparently, giving something its own gravitational pull. It may work on him as well, but if anything, when she gets strong enough, it's gonna you're not going to go anywhere. Because Rumi, yeah, though she does have fire breathing, she can also control that fire she makes as well as outside sources. And added with the benefits, there, all his kids are fireproof, completely fire resistant. It does not even singe their hair. That comes to Hanzo. Yeah, a combination of fire manipulation mixed with drawing things closer to. Another, he can create suns. Not in the you know what way. I'm talking about he can actually make suns, the actual stars. In which Izuku doesn't really want him practicing a large scale version of this due to reasons. But he's still proud of his kid. Hinata. Yeah, she's, she uh, can theoretically create black holes. She can increase someone's center gravity and make it collapse on themselves. Either roll you up into a ball or completely smush you into a bloodied mess. Yuzuka being the way he is, she's like, oh my god, she, if she's not careful, she can create black holes, which is a possibility. So yeah, Yuzuka's kids are overpowered, or at least with the potential of being hella overpowered. So you can imagine, he's very, very worrisome about such interesting things. As he and the rest do go out to find Hinata, they do notice a lack of trees in the area. Mixed in with what seems to be some weird distortion. Zuko is like, oh my god, the worst has come to be. As he does come across a mini black hole. Yep, he's pretty much, I can't believe you actually did it. You know, she's like, I don't know how to stop this. No, or I do. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but sadly, we're going to need Hanzo for this. What? What? Why? Obviously, he's gonna have to make a son. But you told us not to. Yeah. Also told you not to be hunting here, you no, know, or training here. For some reason, you you just don't like listening to me, do you? I'm sorry. Don't don't be sorry. Do not be sorry. You know, don't you dare say it. What? Don't you dare say it. What? All I'm gonna say is be better. How'd you know? You always say that. Well, you always say sorry whenever you fuck up. I, I told you and not to. Let alone giving you the tools and wisdom to not do what I tell you not to do. 
You want me to stop saying that? Yes. Well, you, you need to stop doing the opposite of what I tell you. Seriously, compressing trees is one thing. I mean, at the very least, make some spheres, but you gotta know when to stop with the compression or else this. I'm sorry. <clears throat> hmm. What is it, ogres? What? Oh yeah, this is your new older brother, ogres. Uh, I'm taller than him, so he has a baby face, and there's no way he's older than me. Wanna bet? Wait, why'd you name her after that beast ogress? I didn't name him. This is him. What? This is ogress. Wait, the same one with the ogress? Yes. Yeah, ogress chaos. Yes, this this is him. But I thought he was a big lumbering. Yes. And he's now my adoptive son. My son. Your brother. Older brother. And though, yes, he looks younger than you. He is older than even me. Right. I understand. Do you? Yes, sir. Good, good, good. I, oh, I love that. So, if you don't mind... What? Yeah. Don't worry about it, kid. Just... Yeah. You and Ogres can go get Hanzo. Really? Yes. Go get him while I still have some patience with you. Thanks, Dad. Don't like me yet, because I'm still mad at you. For not listening to me. Yes, yeah. Now, uh, and Ogress, they do find Hanzo, which, do a brief explanation. Hanzo's like, you are an idiot. You're the oldest of all the rest of our siblings, and you make a black hole? Do you know how mad Dad's gonna? He already knows. Oh, well. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be fine. Really? Yeah, I'll send him flowers to your funeral. <sighs> he wouldn't. I mean, he couldn't. Sis, let me explain something to you. We are twins. We are siblings. We are born at the same time. Oh, yes, you woke up a bit earlier than me. We're still twins. We're still... She, you gotta realize the fact that we are part dragon and Elyr joke. Yeah, so what? We are immortal. Yeah, and? That means he could decimate us, kill us technically, and we would be brought back. Possibly with no memory, because we, you know, haven't died before. What? Yeah. So what you're saying is... He can kill us, then we'll just come back with possibly no memory of us dying to begin with. Oh yes. Oh my, I, 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 I didn't. He wouldn't. He. Are you willing to bet your life on that? Oh, no, 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 
players on. I'm too young to die. Don't worry. At the very least, you'll be alive in the hearts. Stop it. You're really scaring me right now. Good. So, be ready to grovel and beg for your life once this is all over. Oh, yeah, and who's the ogre? Long story. Let's fix my fuck up first. What? Why are you looking at me? Ooh. <laughs> what? I'm telling Dad you cussed. Uh, no! Why you want to be a snitch? Mm. For my own personal benefit? You've been spending way too much time with Rule. Uh, he's a good teacher. In getting what he wants. I will kill you. Perhaps. Perhaps. But. Who's better at flying? <gasps> Wait, no! As yes, Hanzo is gone! And uh, is. Sadly, still holding Olgrest. Flying with him, so she. He has to worry about the extra that's weight. Well, this also does get here, and Izuku is like, what took you so long? Oh, nothing. Just preparing. For what? Don't worry about it. Alright, just seal this thing up. Oh, but are you sure you want me to do this? What happened if... It will cause a white hole instead. Wait, what? <sighs> I told you this before, didn't I? Uh, you see, look, think about this. A black hole sucks up everything, including light, while a white hole expels it. And that's just a pretty much, you know, oversimplified explanation. Oh. Wait, how much energy is this going to expel? We'll worry about that later. Just make it happen. But what if it destroys the forest? Don't worry. Trust me. Okay. A uh, lengthy process of creating suns and what? Yeah. Safe to say, the crisis of the world being completely utterly devoured by a very dangerous phenomenon caused by one of Zuku's own overpowered fucking kids. It was a success. Not uh, getting there just. In time for it to be over, and Izuku's looking at her with authority. Like, Dad, I am so sorry her bowing down to him like a god. Like, get up. Your punishment? Please don't kill me! What? You're not gonna kill me? No. But Hanzo said. What pray tell did your brother say? In detail. Please tell me. Uh, uh I just told her that you'd be very upset after what she's done. That she might be gone for the rest of her life, and then some. What you said? <laughs> you said he would kill me. Then I'd be brought back because we're. What's it called? Quar bridge or whatever his dad says. Did you now? Uh, oh, 
Um, look at that. Yep. <clears throat> you two are definitely going to catch these hands. What? Time to square up. <clears throat> Time to catch this fade. <laughs> are you saying? Oh, yeah. I'm teaching you combat training. I'm training you myself. Damn, that is child abuse. No. It's called parenting. Discipline. Something that you two clearly lack. Please don't do this. You're... Please, for mercy, fall on deaf ears. As three years do go by, Ogris is really integrated into the family, and Gregor is still begging to be destroyed rather than face the aftermath of what could happen. And that is pretty much how their lives go. But Hugo, how's he doing? It's actually interesting. Having been uh, pretty much scolded by Isuku for not shooting his shot, especially when everyone knows that Amalia loves Hugo, so. Hmm. Yeah. Hugo actually nuts up and tells Amalia how he feels. Her laughing in his face. Him feeling crushed like he's just got rejected until she kisses him. It's like, wait, you, you, you have any idea how long I've waited for you to say that? I'm getting a sense of a long time. Oh yeah. So they end up getting married. In fact, they do end up having a kid. A sweet heliotrope kid, that is. Whose name? Uh, due to the fact that Izuku is, thankfully, Technically, one of the people who brought them together, they do name it their daughter, Inko. Izuku feels honored. Percy and Evangeline, they're pretty much like, that is a very fitting name. Cleon, as well as the other kids, including Ogres, Cute, cute kid, adorable baby. Sadly, since not everything can be tied up in a nice even bow, or everything fuckery does ensue. As yes, time has gone by, and Percy does end up getting jumped. But luckily this time, Anima isn't a part of it. So they can actually hold their own, especially when Anima does decide to come to visit, just to check on on them. Because he still feels a little bit bad for saying to pretty much abandon him when he was going out to fight Ogrist. So, they fare very well. If Anima's power boost... Though, yes, he does have a dofu or two. He may not have the full scope of what he did in canon, but he is still a force to be reckoned with. In which, the battle is fairly simple. No, even their kids join in. Am I? Shapeshifts! It's a rhinoceros for the kids to mount and induce complete and over carnage. It is a beautiful sight. 
I, man, I wish I could do animation, because that would be fucking awesome to see. But still, you can imagine. This means, yeah, someone fucked around. And it's time they found out how much they fucked up. And with that, that shall be the end of this part. Eh, this isn't that much of a cliffhanger. At least to the people who actually seen Wack Fu. Yeah, good luck waiting for the next part. <laughs>